hey guys welcome to the channel um, short video over here to show you how we cut off um, the the rear inner fender and that whole area with the parcel shelf move the parcel shelf from this point backwards keep a little small short parcel shelf um, and we always start with a piece of metal that we uh, put on an angle we always put it um, not on 90 degree but slightly out so that your firewall uh, it's gonna lean backwards a little bit because visually that's a lot nicer than just keeping it square and uh, we cut the chassis over there and I'll show you guys exactly how we do that and how you measure that and how you mark that clamp that into the spot where we want to start making our new parcel shelf and our new firewall as you can see and obviously you want to box that whole section up over there you want that to be closed off, but that's not super easy because it's quite a difficult shape. Is that we take uh, another piece of uh, straight metal, in this case aluminum, and we clamp it on um, the straight corner that we uh, clamped onto um, our um, starting point. And then you want to measure that stuff out a little bit. So you want to measure if this point is on the same location left and right. And what you do then is simply uh, trace that off and um, you want to use something that's very straight so we use another piece of aluminum don't forget to take a look at our website as well einzel.nl we ship worldwide of course wise fab field suspension our own brand einzel gearboxes quick change differentials axles all kinds of things a lot of fabrication components, of course, air jacks, subframes for quick change, you name it. Drop us an email and we'll hook you up. And then use that. So here you just make sure that these things carry on each other like really well. Make sure that there's no space between them at all and that you're staying straight. Obviously, when you trace a certain point, you can uh, make it easier on yourself simply to put a couple stripes in there and you can uh, put a tape on that later so you'll know exactly um, where your where your line needs to be it's just important to make sure that none of that stuff moves when you're doing this there you can see that's quite a nice line there you go it's pretty easy to see so you end up with a nice line and you know um, you know where your cut's gonna be. Obviously you wanna have a little visual confirmation. Um, if you uh, follow the line of that piece, you can you can tell that you've done the right thing, that you made the, the correct cut. There you see, that's, that's how it's done. And now it becomes way more easy to um, to make that piece because all you do is you take a piece of cardboard and you just trace it all around with a sharpie. Just like that. Obviously, we uh, we want to use a bit bigger piece. That's like this is just to show you guys how it's done, um, and uh, that way you'll end up with the perfect trace for um, your metal panel. And you stick it out a little bit, so it's easier to weld. You can leave little lips out that you could um, hammer around.